Now we want to talk about that catastrophic earthquake that strike Turkey and Syria. More than 2,000 people are now dead, and that's according to Turkish and Syrian emergency officials. Hundreds of people still trapped as the president there in Turkey is calling it the country's largest disaster in more than 80 years. The massive 7.8 earthquake hitting southeast Turkey overnight near the Syrian border. A second quake hit southern Turkey nine hours later, also measuring as a massive 7.8 thousands of buildings collapsed in both countries and now the search is on to find any survivors that are trapped in the rubble there joining me now live from london abc's patrick Greville. so patrick what is the latest our search and crew search crews rather uh, been able to find any survivors Hi, Kira. Yeah, I mean, the, the scale of the damage is just colossal. And the more, the clearer the picture is that we're seeing, the more the scale of the destruction is really emerging. I mean, the official death toll right now is over 2,300, with over 9,700 people injured. But that's expected to rise possibly steeply as well, because right now rescue workers are trying frantically to reach what is to believe to be hundreds of people buried under the rubble across the country. I mean, hundreds, possibly thousands of buildings are believed to have collapsed. Um, President Erdogan of Turkey is saying this is the biggest disaster to strike his country since 1939, when another earthquake caused 30,000 people to be killed. And so you can see the scale of the, the disaster here is really enormous. I mean, countries are mobilizing right now to try and send aid, and particularly the situation is particularly dire in Syria, where there was already a humanitarian crisis, and which now has been struck by this historic earthquake, really. This is one of the most powerful earthquakes to strike this region in, in, in ever, experts are saying. Yeah, we were reporting 80 years um, and just looking at how Turkish uh, and, and Syrian first responders have been handling just the overwhelmed uh, or, or, or the overwhelming amount of people uh, trapped, killed. I can't imagine what the hospitals are like. Uh, are they struggling just to, to be able to treat people? Yeah, both in Turkey and in Syria, the rescue workers are under enormous strain, but the situation is particularly bad in Syria because of the fact that it, most of the, the, the area where this, this earthquake took place was closest to northern Syria, which is a rebel-held area and which has effectively been under siege by the Syrian regime um, backed by Russia for the last several years. And so there was already a very severe humanitarian crisis there. 4.1 million people live there, and the UN says that the majority of them were already in need of humanitarian support. And now, of course, they've been struck by this enormous earthquake. I mean, we're seeing towns where whole streets have collapsed, whole high-rises with, you know, dozens of apartment, apartments in them have, been, have just collapsed into the ground. And we know that there are hundreds of people buried under that rubble. The white helmets that you probably remember are better known in Syria for pulling people from the rubble after bomb attacks, after airstrikes. They are in action and they are saying, they are telling the media that they are completely overwhelmed and that hospitals in, in that part of Syria are completely overwhelmed. All right, we'll continue to stay in close touch, Patrick, as we get more details, of course, and, and you as well. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.